Baltimore, Maryland has become a bloodbath with the death toll now at 101 murdered victims and more fatalities to be expected before federal agents are done there. There, having lost complete control of her city, Mayor Catherine Pugh was reduced to begging for immediate help from federal agents to step in and take over. Country waits for her to address the overwhelming issues charm city, that's not so charming anymore. When he hear of high crimes rates it's typically synonymous with Chicago, but while all attention has been on the Windy City, Baltimore has gone completely ignored. The city never fully recovered after the riots there and crime has gotten increasingly worse, specifically the murder rate which rivals even Southside Chicago's. The year isn't even close to over yet and there have already been 101 murders on record in Baltimore. Pew knows that as the weather begins to warm up, the death toll rises and she can't afford to lose citizens at an even more rapid rate than what it already is. Out of options and resources, she personally went down the FBI office in Baltimore and asked for as many extra agents as she could get to team up with the city's police to tackle T. The murdering spree, CNN reports. Speaking at a news conference, Pugh said, murder is out of control. There are too many guns on the streets. We're looking for all the help we can get, adding to that sentiment, Anthony McCarthy told CNN, the summers in Baltimore tend to be very violent. The mayor wants to get a handle on all the murders, the flood of guns on the streets and the gang activity. The Daily Caller reports, on top of an over 30% increase in murders, the city is also experiencing a shortage in police officers. The city is operating with the lowest number of officers in about a decade 2,500 police officers. Usually, the department has 2,900 officers. You get in a crisis mode like we're in right now with crime out of control and not enough uniformed officers on the street, I would say it's at a crisis point, Baltimore's frauder. Baltimore's fraternal order of police president Lt. Gene Ryan said. Sending in reinforcement doesn't come at a small cost, but since lives are on the line and thugs are running rampant, it's worth every penny. The Baltimore Police Department alone is paying $1 million in overtime for their officers, and that doesn't account for the expense of federal agents coming in to help. We continue to work with all of our federal partners to address the repeat violent offenders who have been the source of much of the increased violent crime that we have experienced. Experienced this year, a Baltimore Police Department spokesperson told the Daily Caller. The real issue isn't that there are too many guns on the street, it's that there are too many criminals on the street who should have been incarcerated long before now. Starting back when the Baltimore riots began. This was the same state that told the police to stand down and let these Edens. And let these Edens vent in the streets to avenge Freddie Gray's death. This is the result of allowing criminals to become entitled and riot their grievances, rather than be arrested for it. It is another piece of Barack Obama's legacy, just like the incredible crime rate in Chicago, after he spent 80 years empowering and defending thugs. Citizens in this liberal city should be allowed to arm and defend themselves which would greatly cut down on the cost of federal agents around the clock. If law-abiding people are trained in how to use their weapon, you would have a defender of the law every few feet throughout the city. The murder problem would eventually start to resolve itself because that's what the Second Amendment is for.